Deuteronomy 3, chapter 3, bridged. And then we turn and went all the way to Basham and Og. King of Basham came out against us, he and all of his people. And the Lord said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him and all of his people and his land into your hand. So the Lord our God delivered into our hands Og, also the king of Basham and all of his people. And we took all of his cities. At that time there was not a city which we did not take. All these cities were fenced with high walls, gates and bars. Beside unwalled towns there were many, and we utterly destroyed them. But all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for prey unto ourselves. And we took at the time of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites the land that was on the side of Jordan, from the river Arnon until Mount Hermon. For only the king of Basham remained of the remnant of the giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Nine cubits was the length of it, and four cubits the breadth of it, after a cubit of a man. And this land which we possessed at the time, all the cities and the rest of the Gideon and Basham being the kingdom of Og, gave unto the half-tribe of Manesh and the region of Agob, and on Basham we called the land of the giants. I gave Gilead unto Mashir, and unto the Reubenites and unto the Gadiites I gave Gilead all the way to the river, the plain also, and Jordan and the coast thereof. And I commanded you at the time, saying, The Lord your God has given this land to you to possess. You shall pass over armed before your brothers and the children of Israel, all that you will meet there for war. But your wives and your little ones and your cattle, they shall be remaining behind until the Lord has given rest unto your brothers as well as unto you, until you possess the land which the Lord your God has given you beyond the Jordan. And then you shall return every man to his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at the time, saying, Your eyes have seen all the Lord has done unto these two kings, so shall the Lord do unto their kingdoms where that you pass. You shall not fear them, for the Lord your God shall fight for you. And I besought the Lord, saying, O Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatest and mighty hand, for what God is there in heaven and earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might. I pray, therefore, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain of Lebanon. But the Lord was wroth with me for your sakes and would not hear me. And the Lord said unto me, Let it suffice thee, speak no more of it, this matter. Get thee up to the top of Pisgath and lift thine eyes westward, northward, southward and eastward, and behold it with thine eyes, for thou shalt not go into the land of Jordan, but shall charge Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him, for he shall go before the people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou see. And we abode in the valley against Bethpore.